As the girl approached the sign, she heard a dog's bark. It sounded strangely familiar to her, and beckoned her to come. I'm on my way, Huey. <laughs> nah, I don't think I'll make that mistake. Huey was the dog's name in Haunted Ground. I believe the dog's name in this game is Brown. There's an old padlock on the door. However, it's not locked. Oh, well, that's pretty rare for a survival horror game. A slip of paper is tied to the dog's collar. It's a slip of paper with boarding pass and a picture of a fish on it. So, okay. The air fi the air sh I almost called it air fish. <laughs> I guess that's the fitting name. The big airship thing is a fish? I don't know. Jennifer found the boarding pass. Now we too can ride the giant fish. The name brown is on the dog collar. <laughs> huh. These things would be the save point. You can save your progress by talking to the bucket knights. Okay, might as well. That was my save from before, which is actually in the same spot. Just testing out the game for a bit. A dilapidated cart is stored in the shed. <laughs> it serves no purpose. Though I do like that we can just examine stuff like this. It's a rusted well. Cold air flows from inside it. Things that don't really have any relevance, but they're just there as atmosphere. To the left is Rose. Half of the sign is broken off. I assume this sign would say Rose Garden Orphanage? Which probably means more than half of that sign's broken. I'm not sure how much jump scare type stuff is going to be in this game. I suspect at least a little bit. Front gate, we're making progress. Never mind. It's gonna be like that, huh? Following the boy up the road, she came upon a huge old mansion. For some reason, this place seemed familiar to the unlucky girl. Children with bags over their heads are beating something with a stick. The unlucky girl was frightened and backed away from the gate. Or did she? Just, yeah, okay. Alright then. I don't think I saw that cutscene last time. Old Fence Road, where all my problems start. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit creepy. You better run away before you get these jabs. My scared jabs, <laughs> but they're jabs nonetheless.
we can apparently drop stuff as well. It's probably not that funny, you guys, but okay. I don't think I'd be messing with this orphanage. The kids are obviously in control here. What is all this? Legend of Stray Dog. Stray Dog kidnaps kids. The cool kids, because it has a Z on it. Okay. Does he also eat kids? Because these appear to be graves. Okay, I guess we're going this way. There's lots of trash piled up here. That's all. So I guess we have to go see what those kids were beating up. Let's just hope that they really don't like sex. Legend of Stray Dog. Stray Dog gives us sweets. Worth a try. Them kids have sticks. I don't want to deal with that. Empty cages are stacked up. Were animals being kept here? That's my concern at this point. That the kids are beating up some animal. Because in the intro, it looked like they were hitting the dog with something. I don't know. It's going to get kind of disturbing if the game goes down that road. Right, well, they seem to be gone now. And the sack is okay. Well, no. No, I'm going to say it's not okay. Are we sure we want to come through here? We just go wait for another bus, you know. Entrance this way. As in the other door. Kind of odd, but okay. Last time I played this, I did not find the map, which I hear is not very good anyway. I know there's similarity to Haunting Ground. I never used that then. <laughs> Yeah, that door is not going to open. We're now committed to this whole <laughs> orphanage thing. A large portrait is on the wall. It's going to take a bit to get used to the camera, I think. Nothing in the lockers. <laughs> the unlucky girl felt the chilling gaze of many eyes upon her. And yet, she was all alone. Nothing but the creepy sound of children giggling. So let's follow them, shall we? That's probably not a good idea, but... <laughs> They're just children behind every corner, just hand over their mouth giggling at every step of progress I make. The filth room. It's a creepy doll tied to the pillar. So sleepy. <laughs> There's a rubbish bin tightly tied with a rope. I think these things are kind of the equivalent of the safety boxes in Resident Evil. 
when we drop stuff, they go into those bins, I think. That's a shiny photo. It's a faded group photo taken in front of the mansion. And another save point, might as well. So you never know when something's going to go wrong, might as well save whenever we have the opportunity. Not sure where that kid went though, unless he went in here. Which we probably shouldn't follow him. You really don't have anything to say about that? It's like a whole bunch of wood crammed into the urinal thing. I comment on like a vase, but not that. No comments for this either, really? That seems noteworthy. Some way or another. Someone's really backed up this toilet. Just too grossed out to examine it. Before we go up there, though, I do remember something down here that seemed kind of interesting. <laughs> so that'll be interesting if random doors just have kids behind them. That's a kind of unique way to have the doors be blocked, in a sense. <laughs> 